good rainy afternoon from the Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom parking lot. Uh, I'm starting the video in the car because it is raining outside and I brought the G7X so that we can go out in the rain. Like this is a, an older camera so if it gets rained on I don't want it to get rained on but if it does get rained on I won't be as as sad as if like the good camera the newer camera got rained on. So we're gonna go out go to Magic Kingdom in the rain we're gonna see what kind of rides we can ride in the rain because Jen's like go out and ride some rides at Magic Kingdom and I was like I don't know what rides operate in the rain so we're gonna see if there are any outdoor rides that are operating in a rainy like on a rainy day like this it might be intermittent so we might catch some outdoor rides while it's not raining I don't know I also don't know how crowded it is in there it should be less crowded because it's raining but I know that there is a lot of pent-up demand for Magic Kingdom and Walt Disney World so people are probably like I don't care that it's raining I'm gonna go to Magic Kingdom so We'll see. Oh, it just got super windy too. All right, let's go. Oh, figured I would share with you guys my rainy day outfit. I'm wearing a Columbia PFG performance fishing gear raincoat. I have an umbrella. This is a, an umbrella that I found a long time ago uh, at my old place of work. <laughs> it's an Ikea umbrella. Uh, it doesn't work very well, but it's lightweight. So that's good. I have on quick silver, quick dry pants so that when they get wet, or my shorts, so that when they get wet, they will dry out quickly. And then I am wearing uh, Columbia. These are supposed to be, they're called out dry. These are supposed to be waterproof. I went for a walk with Jackson in the rain one day wearing them, and my socks came out wet. So I don't know how waterproof they are exactly. We're gonna find out today, I think. We'll see. We'll see if my feet are dry by the end of the day. I, I don't know, I feel pretty good about it. Feel pretty good about like our, our, our outfit, our fit for the day, our rain fit. <laughs> and we'll see how dry we are by the end of the day. It's uh, super windy. I don't know how long this umbrella is gonna last. It's, it's, it's fighting it right now. All right. <laughs> good times. Well, the good news is, is that TTC does not feel terribly busy. I know it is like later in the day. So it's about 4.45 in the afternoon. So I, don't, I know that not a lot of people are showing up right now. I'm interested to see how busy the park is. We'll get a real feel of how busy the park is on the ferry boat because apparently right now the monorail is not running. Oh, my favorite ferry boat, General Joe Potter. What luck, we've made it. Magic Kingdom and it's not really raining that much right now, so it's nice. Like, uh, it's, it's not overly gloomy. But if this isn't a typical summer day, I don't know what is. Oh, this looks promising. Oh, that was a big puddle. Oh dear, I just got kicked. Big, big puddle. Oh, so this looks really promising. Not a lot of people in here. I like it. I like how wide open the space is. Oh yeah. Where should we go first? Maybe to Tomorrowland? See if we can get on the Tomorrowland Speedway? I kind of like that idea. That's where we're gonna head. Ooh, a special day. If it's raining at the time that a parade or a cavalcade should come through, they do what's called a rainy day cavalcade. And that's what we're hearing right now. Oh. This would be the cavalcade that I haven't seen yet. So we've got Woody, Mr. Incredible, Mrs. Incredible, or I guess it would be Elastigirl. And then inside of the car here, we've got Miguel. I've never seen Miguel before. There he is. And Marie. And Stitch. And Bert and Mary. And the true loves, Aladdin and Clarabelle. That's the power couple right there. Oh, there's Jasmine. Well, we've got Jasmine and Mulan and Pocahontas and Elena and Moana and Merida. Oh, they're doing like a dance at the end here. I love it. They're, they're doing it. Living their best lives. Headed into Tomorrowland. You know what? We should get on the People Mover. There's nobody on it right now. So that's what we'll do first. We'll go on Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover before heading over to the Speedway. Side note, this is where the crowd's at right here. A lot of people walking towards us. All right, here we are. We've made it to the People Mover. A little bit of a wait here. I'm guessing it's going to be 15, 20 minutes. All right, so it's 524 right now. We'll see how long it takes us to get up and on the ride. Look at this. Stitch is on the Galactic Gateway stage, but he's hiding back in the doorway to keep from going out on the wet stage. Oh man, 532 and we're walking up. Nice. So interesting because it looks like there's just a ton of people here. But there, there really isn't. Like that line was like seven minutes. Also, Jen wanted to know if if Astro Orbiters ran in the rain. It's not currently raining, but Astro Orbiters is running. 
So, I don't know. That line will take forever, though. The beautiful view of Cinderella Castle. Oh, heck yeah. We're going to get on <laughs> the speedway right after this. Well, look at that. Also, look at Tron. Hello, beautiful. Wow. I don't know if I can zoom in quick enough for you guys, but on the underside of the canopy, you can see, what is that? They call that the the upload? What do they call it in Tron? The Matrix? They don't call it the Matrix. There it is. Wow. They were doing pull-through testing, which is the step right before they start running trains. Very exciting. The mainframe? Is it called the mainframe? Like the grid? Oh, maybe it's called the grid. The power grid? I don't know, but there's a design on the underside of this canopy that has to do with Tron. It's been years since I've seen the movie Tron. The entrance, and then over there is where the uh, where the where the train, the Walt Disney World Railroad, is going to pass through. Oh, traffic jam down there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there was just some pyro that went off from the stage show at Cinderella Castle, and the smoke is just lingering because it's so humid today that it's just keeping the smoke close to the ground. All right, Tomorrowland Speedway says it's a 20-minute wait. That's not too bad. Let's see. Let's get in line. It'll also get us a closer view at the Tron construction. All right, we made it to the victory circle, and it's been uh, 12 minutes, so that wasn't bad at all. Oh, we're off. You guys know my trick, right? If you just lean into one side. Uh-oh, oh, 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 traffic jam. Then it won't bounce back and forth. See how everybody's bouncing back and forth? Just lean into the rail one way. Just holding it tight like this. Then we don't have to worry about it. Coming up on Tron. See if I can get you a close up view of that design on the inside. I feel like I'm gonna be too bouncy for you to really be able to see what it is. Oh, we're gonna get even closer over here. Okay. I got that rainy day cavalcade song stuck in my head. Trickle, trickle, splash, splash. Tell me how long will this rain last? Also, the engine is vibrating my back. It's, it's making me do that thing like when you're talking to a fan, you're like, uh, I feel like we're moving right along. Guardians of the Galaxy is definitely gonna open up before Tron, but I'm excited for to see. Maybe they'll do some, some train cycling while we're here one day. They might do it just all at night, that makes sense, but it'd be nice to see it running. Man, I love Grand Prix. Such nostalgia. Like, where it's at. This is the ride that I used to ride all the time when I was a kid. Like, every time we came to Magic Kingdom, Speedway. All right, next stop, Storybook Circus, because we're gonna go into Big Top Souvenir and see if they've got anything new in there. Also, we're gonna check on the wait time for Barnstormer. Oh, this is kind of strange. They have Mickey's coffee, but is it not Joffrey's? Interesting. I wonder, that's just like Disney branded coffee, trying to undercut Joffrey's. Do you think maybe they wanted to release this coffee last year during the holiday season? Because I, I didn't even know that they still had pumpkin spice anywhere. Look at he's wearing a scarf and everything. Oh, they have the Space Mountain collection here. They have the Space Mountain lounge fly with the Mickey ears, so you know it's expensive. $85. You got the Space Mountain ears. Oh, I like that. I haven't ever seen these in person. I didn't realize that they had this like this part up top here. Oh, and they've got the Walt Disney World 50th logo on the back. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then they also have this a limited edition. Is it a magnet? What? Oh, it's a pin. It's a gigantic pin. Okay. That's pretty neat. I like that he has glasses on. And you can see his eyeballs through the glasses, too. $30 for a gigantic pin. How much are the ear headbands? $30 as well? I don't see any price on them anywhere. Oh, yeah. Whoa, $35. Oh, my goodness. They're just raising the prices of everything, aren't they? Oh, this is the main attraction series. So right now we are all the way up to, oh, series one. This is the very first one. Okay. So there's just going to be a whole bunch more. Oh, I didn't ever see this either. 
on the side of the Loungefly backpack. You have the Space Mountain embroidery. The thing that everybody was talking about just recently is that all of the caramel stuff inside of here is now made with Werther's Original. So the caramel corn and the caramel apples are all Werther's Original. So here in the Casey Jr. splash pad, I've pointed out before that all the numbers on there equal the opening dates of different things. 71 Magic Kingdom, 82 Epcot, 89 Hollywood Studios, and then there's another one over on the other side for Animal Kingdom. But did you know that over here, there's another cart that has 55 on it for the opening year of Disneyland? And this is where you can buy cinnamon glazed nuts. Storybook Circus Snacks. All right, 30 minutes for Barnstormer, not bad at all. I kind of want to see if there's another attraction that's even shorter wait. Like maybe Pirates? Ooh, maybe we go ride Pirates. See what the wait time is. I wanted to see what the genie would tell me to do and it was like unable to do it. The genie was confused as to what I should do next. It's like the lines are too long. Don't do anything. Let's try again. I don't know. Everything that it wants me to do is like at, at almost seven o'clock at night. It wants me to ride Magic Carpens in, in a half an hour. Friendship Fair in a half an hour. Cinderella in like 20 minutes. I don't, I don't know why it's, it's, it's like Fairy Tale House, not very far away to see Tiana. She's right there. I don't know, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our own thing. We're gonna try to find some food somewhere and then we will ride another ride. All right, I think we've determined what we're gonna try to do is go ride Haunted Mansion and then we'll find something to eat because uh, nothing really sounds good to eat. But I feel like by the time we get off Haunted Mansion, I'll be so hungry that I'll just eat anything. Passing by Rapunzel's tower to visit her neighbors who live in a haunted house. Oh, this is exciting. It said that the line was only 40 minutes, but looking at it, I don't know, last time I was here it was 40 minutes, the line reached all the way over to the frontier land. But right now, we're getting in right over here. That's good stuff. So right when we got in line, there was a person holding a sign that said 30 minutes, but here it says 40 minutes. Let's see, we're getting in line right now at 34 actors. One day, we'll be able to touch the instruments again. Today is not that day. All right, so we were in line for 30 minutes and then they came up and said, sorry, the ride is down right now. Uh, you're more than welcome to wait it out, but if not, uh, please come back and see us later. So we didn't get to ride it. We were just waiting in line for 30 minutes. Oh well. Next, on to the next thing. Let's get some food. We are headed over towards Pirates of the Caribbean as an alternative to Haunted Mansion because Pirates is now only a 35 minute wait. Hopefully we actually get to get on it. Also wanted to point out that it's kind of a silly situation for food over here because you can go to Pecos Bill or between the hours of 11 and three, you can go to Golden Elk Outpost or Tortuga Tavern, which is also open from 11 to three. But I don't understand why they're only open for four hours in the middle of the day. Because I'd like to get some some delicious... What did they have here? They had a fish sandwich that we wanted to try. I wouldn't eat that, but Jen wanted to eat it. All right, 7.23, and we are headed into Pirates of the Caribbean. Let's see if it's only a 35-minute wait. 7.42, not bad at all. Oh, no, I don't want to sit where it's all wet right there. 20 minutes is not bad for a wait. I'm very happy with that. Man, it's been a long time since I've been on this ride. I missed it. We just went down the drop and there was a lot of people yelling. I don't think anybody was expecting a big drop. It's not even that big. Ooh, pro tip. You don't get wet going down the hill if you're in the back row. You gotta watch out for these cannonballs that blow up some water near you. Did he call me a turd? Speak up! He, he's right there. He's, he's literally right behind you. Just turn around and look. Put your clock in. A gentleman wants the rum. Don't you, boy? That is sheer comedy right there. He's like, I got everything Captain Jack needs, and he's nowhere around. But he's right behind him. Here in the Pirates of the Caribbean gift shop, there is a small Jungle Cruise section with like a Jungle Cruise field guide checklist shirt. This guy, which I think is a cookie jar, yeah. But really neat, I like it a lot. Jungle Cruise game. Uh, 
Oh, like a, the backside of water shirt. Jungle Cruise Skipper backpack. I like this one. That one's fun. Oh, world famous Jungle Cruise operating daily. Huh. Having pun in the jungle. All right, now it's about eight o'clock, so I think it's about time for me to start heading out. Wanted to get some food first, so we ordered some corn dog nuggets from Casey's. Uh, can't go wrong there, right? Delicious corn dog nuggets, Casey's Corner. That's where we're headed right now. I already put I'm here because we're not, we're in Adventureland still. So I'm anticipating less of a wait by the time that we get there by hitting I'm here on the way there. Ooh, it's been a while since I've been here with all the lights lit up. It's, it's beautiful. Oh no, somebody lost their balloon floating away into the world. And we've made it over to Casey's Corner and within five minutes of me getting to the front door, they told me that my food was ready to pick up. So now I'm just in this line waiting for it. All right, here's what I got. I got corn dog nuggets, got some french fries, and then I got this pressed penny silk. So I guess they call it a silk pie. I'm excited for that one. And then a bottle of water. So this silk pie is really good, but I did want to mention how much whipped cream there is versus actual pie down there. Like it's, there's barely any chocolate pie at the bottom, but like a ton of whipped cream. Fireworks are gonna be starting in about 30 minutes. So people are all lined up, ready to go. Down, okay, thank you. All right, so there's about 30 minutes until the fireworks start and people are all lined up. Ready to watch it. They have some Easter balloons here. Oh, floating away. Yes. Special for just before Easter. I don't know if this camera will focus on them moving around so much. Do you guys see them? That yellow one right there. Kind of impressed with how few people are back here at the back end of Main Street 30 minutes before the fireworks. I do think it's interesting that there's been such a demand or such a, an outcry for meet and greets to come back and Mickey Mouse has a meet and greet here. It's only a five minute wait. I haven't seen a long wait for Mickey Mouse all day. So there you have it. That was our trip out to Magic Kingdom to just like go and have fun at Magic Kingdom. No real plans. It originally started out raining and I left my umbrella somewhere. We got to go back and get that. It's over at Casey's Corner. Wow. It's a good thing I did this outro. I totally would have walked all the way out to the car. Forgotten it. Uh, so yeah. We thought it was raining at the beginning of the day. It turned out to be very nice. A little bit chilly now. I'm glad that I had this, this coat on or like this rain coat on. Yeah, it was a really good day. We got to ride three rides. Did a little tiny bit of merch too. It was a great day. Got to see Tron. So all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.